Good morning. Good morning! My name is Rip. Uh oh. And I'm joined by MYK and crew? I think that seems right. Yeah, it's the wrong way. <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Wrong fusion. <laughs> I'm here with crew and MYK. No, <laughs> yeah, alright, and today we're gonna cover uh, Brian Fury. Uh, if you guys saw me live streaming last night, you saw me run into Mr. Naps a couple times. So I need some Brian Fury experience. We got MYK here. He's gonna walk us through online practice with Brian. So Mike, take it away. Let's talk about some of the basics of Brian Fury. All right, Brian Fury. Um, all right. Uh, should I talk about his key moves first? Yeah, let's talk about key moves first. All right. So a couple things. He is one of the only characters in the game that has a 14 frame launcher with Jet Upper. Uh, it is a high though, but it's great for you know with side step with punishing or. You know, just basically with punishing in general, or just block punishing too, because uh, there's a couple moves in this game that are minus 14. Uh, Rip's partner is actually Dragon, also we'll have him come in when you do Core Circle Four Two. Oops. Yeah. Oh, punish. <laughs> it That's uh, pretty good. So, you know, just keep that in mind. He's one of the only characters that can do stuff like that. So. Uh, and very few characters have 14 frame launchers in this game. Yeah, and it's also a uh, tag bufferable, so you could you could do stuff like yeah or what have you. Yeah. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is uh, his key moves. He has a couple moves that are very good. Um, Brian, he he has a lot of fast pokes, but uh, his tracking on some of them are kind of bad. Uh, but one plus two is a great poke. It's also a homing move, but they slowed it down from what it used to be. It used to be uh, it used to be 14 frames. Uh, now it's actually 16 frames. So interesting. As a taunt follow-up as well, it's also a lot harder now too because he slowed it down. But uh, he also has quick lows like down back three, which is great. Um, kind of a bigger low like power lows. He has force of a back three, which is great as well. Uh, but that is minus 14 on block, so characters like Bob or the regular can launch it. Um, another great move uh, is his four fold four. Has a built-in uh, you know side set to the left. Uh, sometimes you can do stuff like. Let's see, I'm gonna do down back three, and then the opponent's gonna try to jab in between. I could four, 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 and like, and maybe not. <laughs> I'll do a down back two. Oh, okay. <laughs> down forward two. It has weird properties. There you go. There, yeah, there you go. Like, it's, it, once you get it to the side step, you can when you're close enough, you can get it to all the way to their back like that. Okay, um, Another one of his home, uh, great moves is like, as we talked about with Corsica Back 3, he has a lot of great Corsica Back moves, like Corsica Back 4, uh, is his soccer kick, um, it's great, it's grounded, like, for example, the whole grounded right sorry, now. Sorry, sorry. But not all angles will be grounded, like certain angles is kind of iffy, but it's a great move. Um, it has great range, it's only minus 12, I believe, uh, still. I don't think they changed the frames on the negative on that. And you uh, can't really punish it if it's blocked at the tip, too. Yeah, some characters can't punish it at the tip like that. So if you have good spacing on it, you, yeah, like that was, would be really hard to punch for a lot of characters. Uh, the, the combo afterwards, though, they kind of changed the properties on it just because of the way the floats work in this game. Once you launch upside down like that, you're going to be... Um, floated backwards from now on. So. Yeah, you can't turn them around in the air like you used to be able to. Yeah, so basically that's going to be your bread and butter like, combo throw right there. Down back two, then forward four one. Uh, forward four one's a new move, but it's a great uh, new addition, I believe. It hits really low to the ground, uh, and you can get combos where you wouldn't be able to before. Uh, you can also use it in like a, like a sidestep with Punisher or a range with Punisher when you don't want to go for course or back four or jet upper. It's really easy, it's just forward four one. Do, like you can tag buffer it, you get like good, good damage off of it. Do you know how fast that startup is? I think it's like 17, 18 though. That's not bad. Do you know what's the minus on it? You know how bad it's it is? It's only minus like 11 or 12. Are you serious? That's really good. Yeah, maybe 11, 13 for crouch. 
Yeah, so it's at least 12 right there. Um, wow. Probably, probably that's probably about it. It's pretty cheap. And uh, if you just use it by itself, like, uh, and they have tech off of it, you know, well. Uh, another great addition, just duck at the wall right here. Uh, he wasn't able to get this before. This is something completely new. You can get 3 plus 4 into a full combo now at the wall, just because of that new addition. Oh, that's, oh cheap. that's really cool. That's yeah, not like cool. That. <laughs> that is not cool. <laughs> well, 3 plus yeah. 4 did get a, a nerf, so I guess that's a buff at the wall. Yeah, something like that. Um, so that's a really great uh, new addition to him. Um, another new addition that's also pretty decent, I think, is uh, back down forward 4. He kind of spins around, kicks him low, I believe it's like plus 9 on hit, so, and it's not launch punish walk block if I remember correctly. We'll try that though. Oh damn, yeah. you can cancel awesome. it? Yeah, you can cancel it by holding back. Damn, that's so confusing. Looks yeah, so it's not launch punishable. Yeah. And it kind of looks like full one plus two animation, but it's not. Even though it's high, low, higher, or low, so <laughs> just you can do stuff like you know, try to be a counter hit if they get scared. Boom, you know. Um. All right. So the next thing I want to talk about is is one down forward one one series. You can still make the last hit like a lot less punishable if you delay it correctly. It's like that. Uh, there's like a certain rhythm to it. Like you can make it so that it has an extra little bit of pushback when you block it. Something it's, like that. It's and then one, one, two, one. That's the rhythm. One, one, two, one. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. See right there how the jab whiffed. It is minus ten on block, but uh, you know you can make it whiff like that if you delay it properly. Um, also, uh, if you do the final hit of it though, now it's launch punishable. Wow. Oh. Yeah, it's minus 15 now, so keep that in mind. It's not the same anymore. And uh, also, this deep move used to be great for like tracking to Brian's left, but uh, not anymore. Not that well anymore. And uh, if you do the follow-ups, he starts whipping. Wow. So. Just keep that in mind, and another great move is his back one. You know, great for a great advancing mid. Sometimes, you know, if you do a one-two at a right at the right range, you could get a counter hit just from. Oh damn! He <laughs> hella just dropped out of the call. <laughs> I don't even think he knows about that. I'm sure he's still he's still talking. Yeah, he's all like he's like as you can see, back one is really fantastic. <laughs> uh, no, but back one is actually really good. It is a counter hit launcher. So, let me just key charge and Mike will get the hint. Here he comes. Yep. Yeah, you're back. Go ahead. Talk about the counter hit back one. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so counter hit back one. It's great. Um, it's a great advancing mid that's positive on block, so keep using that. It's a great move. Um, the other thing he has is orbital heal for, uh, you know, for like keep out. You want to do the up neutral, the up version. You just want to like trip their limbs, like they try to like stick the poke in, and they kind of like land into the hitbox. And you can still get a combo like anywhere. So. You know, anything like that. So um, those are great moves to have. And his fastest keep out move is standing four. Um, so. It is a counter launcher as well. Yeah. I hear it's a lot harder in this game, though. Is that true? I have no idea. He said his counter for a little bit louder, Mike. Or <laughs> uh, the, the jab. Is the jab harder to connect in this game? Yeah, it's not that Hitting it pretty consistently. Yeah, you know, I'm not getting that lot but you know, it's pretty easy. It's not that hard. Just you get a full hobble after. You can probably just do it back three and cancel four four one on the easy follow up. Um, 
the thing I want to talk about. Down four two one. That's what I was gonna get to next. Down four two one. Uh, this is slightly nerfed. I only say it's slightly because he does have a follow up to it now. Um, you could do down four two three, which is a uh, down four two one. Uh, the tracking was never good on it. But it is an elbow still, uh, so you can't parry the first hit, but now the second hit is not a chance. Yeah, you can get launched for it. Yeah, just like that. But he also has a down forward 2 3. Down forward 2 3, I mean, even though the 3 plus 4 kick is safe, down forward 2 3 is not safe. It's the highest fall that it is. Yeah. So, and at the wall, you still get the follow up. So. Ah. Yeah, it's same not, properties for the move. Yeah, same properties for the move. But they got rid of the 3 plus 4 pattern. It's not, it's not that and instead of giving it to 3 plus 4, he now has it to. Oh, um, of course, before 1 plus 2. Yeah, well, that move is minus 12 now. I mean, it is minus 12. Always been. And uh, another great move for Brian at the wall is back 4. You know, plus 14, I believe, on hit. Oh, plus 15 on hit. Yeah, plus 15. So you can get stuff like back 4, 4 back 2. And since 4 back 2 is uh, tag buff level, you can get stuff like this. You know, whatever you want. Um, back 4 is 4, 4, 2. That's me pretty yeah. hard. Yeah, if you ever miss 4, 4, 2, you always want to. I think he's saying uh, you have to get four two two one four. Oh, just in case you mess with the four four two. Right. Yeah. All right. And, uh, any other key moves, Mike? Any other key moves? Uh, I'll send three. Great move. Yeah, counter hit launcher as well. Yeah, a lot of times, like let's say, uh, knock me down, and then I'll tech roll, and then. Uh, I'm just trying to get up, and then it's just like, oh, if he wants to attack and pressure me on wake up, and then boom, counter four. I mean, counter it while saying two. And then you get a full combo on him. So. And the combo, I'm guessing, starts with down back two? Yeah. Pretty much all his combos start with down back two, or one hit, and then, like, you can do four, four, one now, or you can jab with four, four, four. That's pretty much how his combos are going to go. Alrighty, so I think that's majority of his key moves. Uh, anything else you can think of, Al, really quick? Throw in there for key moves? I mean, he's got down back three, I guess, and down four. Uh, I think his grabs are really great, like his forward forward one plus two grab, or his chance Yeah, we'll, his we'll get to grabs later, I guess, oh, okay. too. But, um, like, just other key moves, like poke game. You know, like, I mean, I think down back three is a standard low poke. Down four uh, as well. I like down three, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah down zero on is for down three. So. Great advancing low. You can do tricky stuff like down 3 plus 4, 2, and then cancel it. Or like, you can just let it go. Hmm. Stuff like that. How do you cancel it? Down back. Ah. And then, down uh, back. I believe this move I heard is more hit comfortable now. There's more delay on it where you can hit confirm it. So yeah, it's it's like, also a bound move now. Yeah, it's also a bound move. Yeah, yeah really hit confirmable. I've delayed that like all day. That's yeah. Pretty cheap. Seems and, pretty uh, good. I also like his down two on counter hit. You can kind of hit confirm it. Like if you see them like hit into it, you can just do like the even on max delay, it's a combo. So hmm. and it's only minus ten if you block it, so it's not too bad. And it's his uh, second fastest uh, mid poke, other than down forward two. Down forward two is thirteen. Down two is fourteen. So. Fourteen. Cool. Alrighty, so I think that's the majority of Brian's key moves. Uh, let me walk you through his bow moves really quick. As we already mentioned, he's got forward 4-1. Four, he also has back 1. He's got back 3, 1 plus 2. He's got forward 4-4. Four, four, and as we just mentioned, of course, go back 2-4. Those are all of Brian's bow moves. Al, you want to talk about his homing moves? Alright, his homing moves, he got a new addition, which is 1 plus 2-2. Two, two. It's now a homing move in this game. He's also got down 4-3 snake edge. There's also Fort Fort 4 and down Fort 4. Boom! Yeah, those are all of uh, Brian's homing moves. Uh, let, really quick, I'll walk through all his tag buffable stuff. He's got his string 332, last hit is the tag buffable part. Boom! 
And then he's got his down one plus two tilde two. That's tag bookable? Really? Ah, cool. And then he's got, of course, forward back two. And he's got Corsco back four. And he's got wild standing one. And he's got wild standing two. He's got Fishman's left. Wild standing two, forward two. Yep. That looks cool. I like wow, how that one go, tag buffers. They go to the other yeah. side too. Hey, crack your tag partner gets a straight combo every time, so it's really good. Yeah. Wow, that's really cool considering how we were talking about the new floats flip over system in the game. Cool, so uh, really quick, Al, you wanna talk about his grabs? Oh well he's got uh two special grabs, the four forward one plus two. Standing four forward one plus two. And chains of misery, which is done with slide motion, which is Full crouch, down forward, down, down forward, one plus two. Yeah, so full crouch, down forward, down, down forward, one plus two. You can also do it from like uh, standing with uh, his, because he has a core circle forward. You can right. for it in the core circle forward, so it can just be like, yeah, like that. Alrighty, and then let's see, he's also got um this new, well not new I guess, but back three told it forward. Like this is a pretty uh, staple for his combos, right? Yeah. Right. And this also puts him in the crouch dash state. Uh, so you can use it out of that as well. Yeah, if uh, a lot of times like uh, this counter kind of four combo, you notice like players doing stuff like like that. Wow. And to get the jab after that, it's uh, it's back three forward and then tap up and then forward one, which is basically side step up to forward one. Yeah, so basically during the crouch dash animation is when you can put in a side step to cancel that crouch dash. Yeah, that tap up is kind of, is basically another form of crouch canceling. So. Cool. So really quick, let's run through his uh, Punisher list. Al, did you want to take this or you want me to do it? Uh, I could do it. Alright, go for it. It's really simple. Um, His jab Punisher is 2-3, which is 10 oh. frames. Or oh, 1-4. One, 1-4, four. One, four, 2, but 2-3 does more damage. Yeah, he actually also has 1-2, and on uh, counter it, 1-2-1 one, one is guaranteed. Oh, right. 1-2-4 is guaranteed, too, so... Wow, oh, that's yeah, good yeah. for wall splatting, I guess, if you're baiting something yeah. at the wall. Yep, at the wall. Um, for 12 frames, he's got standing 4, which is really good against wake-up kick, like the mid-wake-up kicks. For 13, he's got down forward... Oh, you're gonna show mid-wake-up kick? There you go. There you go. Um, for 13, he's got down forward 2 1. And for 14, he's got jet upper, which is back forward back 2. Oh. Uh, in, in case you do need it, um, for 15, he's got a mid, which is forward 2 1 4. And for 16, he's got back 4. In case you do need it. Because in some cases, jet upper won't hit just because they're crouching. Yeah. Uh, for wall standing moves, he's got wall standing 1 plus 2 for 10 frames. Which punishes uh, Brian's 444. We should show that. Brian's 444. There you go. Punish! <laughs> for, uh, for 11 frames, he's got wall standing 4. Wall standing 4. And for 15 frames, he's got wall standing 1. Well, well 12, 12 frames. Yeah. Oh, 12 frames, I'm sorry. 12 frames, wall standing 3. And 15 wall standing 1. Is wall standing 3 for a natural combo? No. Okay, just on counter. And uh, try to try to do a move in between it. They change the property now. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Ah. Um, it knocks down now instead of uh, getting that's that. double back. Yeah, that stomach stun where you get down four two one guaranteed. Yeah, used to get plus thirteen off of it. Cool. Yeah. And and yeah, it adds fifteen frames of course whilst anyone. I don't know if we just mentioned that or not. Yeah. Okay, so we did his grabs, we did his punishers, we did his tag, buffer moves, his home moves, and his bound moves. There is one uh, Brian thing that we haven't really talked about much, Mike. Let's go ahead and talk about that little taunt thing that he does. He does that little oh, chicken that little dance. Taunt. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> okay, so notation wise, did you just seriously do that? It's <laughs> notation no, wise. <laughs> notation wise, it's um, one plus three plus four, and you can cancel it basically when his knee comes up. Is the what you're gonna be aiming for? The knee that comes up is what hits them. Right there, you saw the exclamation point. That's the moment he gets hit. And you, Mike, you cancel just by tapping forward right now, or any direction. Yeah, you can cancel it by any direction. Yeah. And uh, basically, Mike, let, let's go and tell them like the basic stuff you can be looking for at the wall with this. 
Um, so it, this is a dangerous move. This is what makes Brian unique. Um, taunt is pretty ridiculous. It's plus 16 on hit or block. It's unblockable. So yeah, as you see there, that exclamation mark. Oh my god, you're about to get boom. You know. So, uh, <laughs> You know, at the wall, you could get like taunt back four. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna attempt to get this all day, but you know, just yeah, there we yeah. go. Two to combo, and then once back four hits, you get you know four back two tag buff for that. You know, take off red light if you want to. You know, whatever you want. Uh, and then you know, it's really good if you want the easiest, decent damage. Uh. Decent damage filler after taunt. It's forward two on four, so it's about fifty. What, what is that? Fifty-six damage. And you also get a one-frame window to mess up. Yeah. Yeah. So that's like if you if you pretty much get this, you're pretty much good to go. Like yeah. let's say you don't you can't do back four every time. Let's say you can't do jet up or after it. Um, those things are possible, but they are the harder options. Um, if you can pretty much just get this every time, you are golden. 56 damage, you get a knockdown, and you also get OP options after it, even when it hits on the wall. So, like, let's see, uh, Rip tries to get up after this. We can, we can do, like, just just try to get up straight after this. You know, that combos for a little bit more damage. Interesting. Or you can even do, like, you know, they're gonna stay down, you can just do down back three. But if they block the down back three after they get up after that, it gives, like, some weird pushback thing. What the hell? I'm so, the best. <laughs> it's uh, pretty good. You know, that's pretty much about all you're gonna take for damage, and you get you already got 56 damage, which is a good chunk of damage. And in the open, you know, uh, a good way to use it is let's say uh, they whip something big. They weren't, you know, they weren't expecting to get like whip punished, and then you just dash in, oh. boom, you know, oh. you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, Stuff and like uh, so basically last night was the first time I tried to like really learn to do this and I was just trying to do the uh, the 4 2 one, 4 thing and one of the things I realized was that I wasn't hitting forward and the button at the same frame so mm -hmm. once I once Kane told me that I need to do that at the same frame it made it like a thousand times easier so a couple tips that I'll give you just which was really bad advice obviously because I don't know much about this character but uh, when this knee comes up here that's when you want to hit him and you want to hit the forward and the button at the same time just like that. So basically that's what you want to hit. And then basically if you hit it, you know, at the same time, it'll be easier to hit than if you just hit forward then the button or the, you know. So basically stick and button, same time. Mm -hmm. Any other advice you got for doing the taunt correctly, Mike? So taunt, uh, you know, a lot of players you'll see doing, doing like chicken dances or like Brian with like that and stuff. Mm -hmm. You could just do, you could just buffer three plus four. That means you just hold the buttons down and just tap one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four, one, four. One, four. Or any of the other two buttons, and then just tap the other. The other yeah, last I mean, basically based on the button buffering system. I mean, Eris put up a tutorial on uh, button buffering, so you guys can check that out if you haven't seen it already. But basically, yeah, I'm holding three plus four right now. Uh, you saw me do a three plus four move, and now if I just tap one, I'm gonna do the taunt, just by tapping the one by itself. And uh, basically, if you're getting throws out of it, it's basically because you're hitting a direction with the thing. So if you just do taunt then forward, and basically you gotta learn to tap the button and then the direction. So you start real it's slow. Like button and make sure. Yeah, there's like a rhythm to it. It's like button direction, button direction, button direction. Yeah, just make sure you go to neutral every time you, you press the button. That way you'll yeah. get the actual taunt out. Uh, and also, you know, there's some easy... Like, usually whenever I like try to test lag on a TV or something, the first thing I do is pick Brian and just do like... You know, just practice that. Taunt 1-4 or taunt 2-3. These are yeah, those really are the easiest easy options, options. But... Yeah. Yeah, so basically, let's, let's tell them in order of uh, what's easiest to practice when learning the taunt. I guess you should start off with like a 1-4, and then move yeah, away from 4, 2, one, three. Four. one four. Taunt 2-3, uh, then he has taunt down 4, 2-1. He used to have taunt 1 plus 2-2. Two, two. I mean, that still works, but it's just as hard as doing taunt back 4 now, so uh, it's not really worth yeah, it. Yeah, so basically people are just going to be doing taunt back 4. If you can do top back four every time too, that's really good. Yeah, that's what you should basically aim for. Especially at the wall. The top jet upper is good, but you don't absolutely need it. Yeah, I mean, just if you hit top back four at the wall, then, you know, they're pretty much done anyway. 
Yeah, so if you hit taunt, you know that. So, you get a free back, four back two anyway, so. Right. Yeah. So, and at the in the open, just go for four, two on fours, honestly. Uh, if you want to be me or Mr. Naps or whatever, go for <laughs> four back two. But you can, even they don't hit it 100% of the time, just keeping it honest. And uh, keep in mind, if they duck it, dude, you're dead, so. I mean, right. you can yeah, if he's ducky, you're, you're pretty screwed, so... Yeah, uh, go for the mid, that's minus 12. And if he duck back 4, whatever, oh, Thirteen. Yeah, he's gonna hit for him. you. So... Cool, okay, so I think we covered most of this guy's game. The one thing we haven't really talked about yet, though, is his combos, Mike. So can you just walk people through some of the basic combos and just show it to them? Yeah, um, you know, the basic combo would be like... That's basically his new fillers now. It's like launch, down back two, forward, four one. You could use that combo for like practically anything, or you could do down back two, down back two, jab, four four four. That one as well. Whoops. I was trying to hit that. I couldn't hit that. Mike, you're teaching him bad combos. Damn, I can't do it anymore. I have oh. never. I, I tried hitting it all last night because I thought that would work, but it didn't work. Wait a minute. <laughs> just get up and. Oh, just... <laughs> Alright, let's Whatever. You know, it works. Teach him the uh, basic combo then, Mike. Basic combo. Alright, so basically, all your launchers is just gonna be like launch, down back to 4 4 1. That's basically your new combo now. You okay. could do that after soccer kick, you could do that after loss and three on counter hit, you could do it You could do it after four or three on counter hit, you got a side good first for that one. Um, you could do it after four back two, but instead of doing down back two, just use four one plus two. Yeah, just like that. And uh hmm, what else is there? If you if you do down four three a lot of people use uh, a 4-3, stop using a 4-3. But sometimes if you're too close, you jump over them, yeah, yeah, I've noticed and you that, won't yeah. get a combo. Use up 3. Oh, so yeah. up 3 instead of up 4-3. Up 3. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, um, you know, a lot of people have been asking and I've been reading that, you know, what's a good, you know, tag us off filler, what's some good fillers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, oh, before we move on to that, um, old forward one, uh, wall standing one, uh, you could do like wall standing one, or back two, and then a combo instead. So that, you know, pretty much the same combo, you just change like one hit in it every time. Can you and not do much, up three after this? Uh, I don't uh, think you, you can. Well. That would be cool. Well, that's so much cooler. <laughs> it is way cooler. You could do stuff like, let's say, if you're at a sweet spot at the wall, like, like duck right here. You could do like, oh, two, look, close to the area. Alright. I see yeah, what you're trying to do. Right, right. Boom! Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do crazy stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. So that's pretty cool. That three three two is tag buff bubble and pull back two. Okay, um, so that's his standing combos. Let's talk about his tag fillers and then his combo enders. Okay, so his tag fillers, um, as a tag assault character, you could do stuff like Oops. What did back you just three. do? You did back, back three, three. told forward four and then cancel gotcha. with forward four one? Yeah, and then you know how like uh, spikes in this game aren't a true spike in Tag Assault? Yeah. That's basically what you're doing for Brian. Uh, you could do that. You could or... also do Force Go Back 2 4. Yeah, you could do Force Go Back 2 damage. 4. Uh, let's see. You could do it like. Yeah, that there works as well. Mm -hmm. Or you could do stuff like. Um, like for certain cases, like Steve, you, you gotta do like. Oh, just to flip him back around, huh? Yeah, down back one plus two. You can pretty much anything you want. Uh, you could also use like uh, three three two. You can actually use that as well. Three three two sounds like a cool filler too. Oh. Yeah, three three two. Let's see. 
Oh, that would have been cool. Yeah, that worked. I'm pretty sure it worked. There you go. Oops. Oh, you know, you get the idea. Yeah. Oh, I want to show the full palm this game. How many tries do you think he's going to take him out? Less than five. <laughs> uh, we'll see. That's two. That's two. <laughs> Pressure's on. There yeah. you go. Close enough. It did hit. The wall just screwed me up. All right, all right. Let's go on. Let's talk about his uh, combo enders now. Uh, his combo enders. Uh, he, by himself, he could do stuff like full combo would be. Whoops. You could do that. Like basically, if you do uh, two hits and a bind like that. Doesn't Up work three. after four four <laughs> one. So you could do stuff like uh, and a four three, one, four, four, two. You can also have a down three two. Um, yeah, the down three two is like a lot less damage than doing jab four four two. Okay. Four four two does a lot of damage. Forty three, down three two, second it only does twenty nine. And what about uh, like after attack assault combo though? Like what kind of enders does Brian do? Like, cause I've seen people um, do like back three forward, you know. Um, yeah, for short combos you could do that, but like for example, if he does, let's say, four back two, lot. Yeah. Back three oh. forward, one plus two. One plus two. Yeah, so you can get that. Or, you know, if it's slightly shorter, you could get like. Uh, you could get like just closer to four one two instead of adding the back three into it because it's like one less hit so it could get more consistently. I see. Uh, right. let's, let's see. Oops. Yeah, see that's already too many hits. So yeah. Just keep that in mind. Um what else does he have? He has like let's say if I do a really long combo, like uh Then you would just have to do four four two if it's Not too much. long. Yeah. Plastic Brian Ender. Uh, by himself, he could do stuff like uh, three three four is also a good Ender as well. Uh, it's only like one less damage than uh, doing a four three jab four four two, so not bad. Um, and as a uh, let me get you at the wall real quick. So, okay. For a uh, tag assault filler for Brian at the wall, you have a couple options like uh, so you can do whoops yeah so you can do uh, like 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 we were saying you could do a cancel with back two one and then cancel with the side step and then you could do uh, four two one four or you could do back two one four 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 one. Those are decent. Those Whoa. are good uh, tag assault fillers for Brian at the wall. <laughs> so tight. I like that. Yeah. So you could do. Yeah, I did it slow, but that's yeah. supposed to be. Okay. Uh, that seems reasonable. What? What is? What's this? Like regular wall combo that leads into like a taunt setup, actually. Uh, oh, that's pretty hard in this game. Yeah, it's so uh, it's pretty inconsistent at the walls now. So you know, something like that. While saying three four right away instead of four, people used to do like that. That's not gonna work in that situation because it's two hits for the bind. But uh, let's see. Yeah, you know something yeah. like that. Just knees all the way. Okay, so basically end the combos with while standing knees to go into taunt setups. Is that what we're saying? Yeah. It's not as consistent as it was in Tech 6, so. Okay. You, you can do like a low wall hit with like down 1 plus 2, forward 1 plus 2. Um, that's not going to set up very greatly for a taunt because they recover too fast after a low wall hit. Yeah, okay. And so you can do like. Oops.
Yeah, they could hit me before that taunt even hit him. Yeah. So yeah. They recover way too fast. Cool, you should so... show him the, the Agent Smith move. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh... Now that you mentioned that, uh, he has a couple things after a full taunt. Mm-hmm. Blue sparks? Yeah. Whoops, I forgot to look at my patient webs. 2-1-4-2-1-4-2. that's it? Yep. Where the hell is it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure, Al? Yep. Okay, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> This is like the Paul episode. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but... oh! oh! There it is. Alright, so that's all natural. If you, like like we were saying, like taunt 4, 2, 1, 4. If you had the full taunt after before it, you know, if you do the full taunt, you know, by the time the knee comes up, you can't cancel it. Like, a couple frames afterwards when, when his arm's coming up, you can't cancel it for a little while, so pretty, he's pretty vulnerable. But, you know, he has that string that's all natural that does a chunk of damage. And uh, he also has Lockbreaker for blue! Yeah, that fancy blue sparkle one. Yeah. And then it also does a shit ton of more damage. Yeah. So. Cool. And yeah, I think... You didn't do the Agent Smith move. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's the third <laughs> move. Uh, so normally Agent Smith is back once one to one right? So... That's the last and, four. and it ends with four. <laughs> oh, first try. All right, so now we have with the full taunt, you can do. I'm just yeah. walking away. <laughs> oh man, Agent Slayer! Oh, <laughs> you can't match as fast as fast as I can. Oops. <laughs> you sound like you're in the buns together like <laughs> I'm doing I'm using two hands for this. Oh. That's probably oh. why. <laughs> yeah, you should I usually just do one plus two. You just mash one plus two out? Yeah, I mash one plus two. After the initial thing I just start mashing one plus two. Huh. Where if you wanna try this, this is exhausting. You should get that's me easy, on there. So easy. Huh? So that's the regular one, but if you do it after the full taunt, you get... Yeah. That's really hard. <laughs> yeah, you only... Like, after you get the full taunt, you only have uh, 8 seconds for the full, you know, thing to come out. That's too impossible! Anyway, you guys can practice that. <laughs> we won't spend the rest of the afternoon uh, trying to do that. Um, anything else you guys want to throw in there about Brian? Oh, there's one thing I didn't mention, actually. He's got this uh, cool grab with Dragonov. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Spin your chain of misery grab, pretty awesome. Does he crack his knuckles before? Yeah, before he does. He it's pretty sick. <laughs> oh, you're gonna get beat. So cool. Alright, anything else, Mike? Uh, There's always another... something else. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, tag us all filler, one more, mm -hmm. that a lot of people have are using in the open. You can do, like, after a long combo, you can also do, like, uh, Yeah, back to four. Back to four. Mm, yeah. Interesting. You can, I believe you can also do back two, one, four. Uh, if the combo's a little shorter. Like, yeah. That also yeah, but that pushes them pretty far away, though, for your but opponent like, to come with, back. Like a partner like Devil Jin or something, you could just uh, do lasers after it. That's an easy oh, combo. Yeah. You know, whatever you want, something like that. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much about it. Back two on four and back two four, depending on the length of your combo. Anything else you want to throw in there, Al? Uh, you didn't, you didn't mention the mini combos like down forward four into soccer kick, stuff like that. Oh, because soccer kick. Yeah. Uh, whenever you get a punch parry, oh yeah, this move down forward one plus two has a built-in punch parry. Uh, you'll notice that it'll knock him over to the side with head facing towards with feet away. Um, you could get uh, three quarters of a back four if you wanted. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So just like this, into dash, like quarters of a back four, that works. Down or, four four. Or if you do stuff like 
Yeah, that one's not always guaranteed, so that one you just want to go for dash down back three or dash down four if you want to get something guaranteed. Interesting. Um, if you do down four four, same thing, you know, also works. Uh, and yeah, what do people that, you would Brian use for back roll catches? Back roll catches? Yeah, like if you know that someone's going to back roll after a combo, like do you pick them up with up four three or down back two or? Down back two. Do down back two or back one. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, um, you can also... You might even be able to do 4 4 one now that I think about it. Yeah, 4 4 one's a great addition, so use that. Um, what else does he have? That's something I want to say. I cut you off. Made you forget. Yeah, I forget. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I'm sure we covered enough stuff. That was like 45 minutes or something. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Anything else, Yalp? Nothing, oh. Mike? Uh, Memory kicking in. We were talking about like knockdown, guaranteed knockdown, but shoot. You said guaranteed down by three. Oh, I was just gonna talk about like one real quick thing. Whenever you hit mock kick, you know you have like a Oki option that's up to you. Um, so if you hit mock kick on normal hit, on counter hit now you can actually tech ball out of it. Yeah, that wasn't possible before. You could back ball out of it too. Yeah, that's new. Uh, but you know, on normal hit, you still get the Oki option. Oki as in Ukemi or as in ground game. If you hit 4 4 4, you can do instant dash down back 2. If they try to get up or roll back, they'll float them for a combo. Yeah, and you get a full combo after that. Or you could do like 4 4 4, and if you want something guaranteed, down 4 is always guaranteed. Or if you want to option select it, I believe you can do like dash down 3 plus 4, 2, or something like dash that. Oh, if you do it fast enough, it'll pick them up. Yeah, something like that. And then uh, if, if you know that they're scared of getting picked up by down back 2 from now on, you could just do dash force to go back 4. Oh, jeez. Yeah. yeah, and it'll force them to stay down. So. You can also be yeah. a jerk and do dash back 4. Dash back four. Yeah. That's what jerks do. <laughs> okay, cool. Alright, are we done? No more yeah. fury? Pretty Excellent. Alright, so be sure to follow us. Twitch, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook.com slash Level Up Your Game. Check out the website at levelupyourgame.com. Our final tutorial series from Namco should be up by the time this hits YouTube. Otherwise, it'll be coming out this week for those of you guys who haven't seen it yet. Uh, so be sure to check all that stuff out, and we will catch you guys next time. See ya. Peace out. Hey, just Smith, too easy. Can we talk? Good morning.